。好的，苏老师，我们现在已经开始了。然后好，好的。然后我会，我们先让那个这个画面出现，然后让国内的同事推一下流。好的，好的。So, if you are watching our show right now, please wait for a bit moment. We are waiting for the data views uh, in our domestic platforms like WeChat and Weibo. I know it's now streaming on YouTube and Facebook, but we are still waiting for some work for this data promoting. So, please wait a moment, okay? I can see we have some comments popping up. Hi, saying hello to us on our Facebook page. So I'm gonna say hello to our friends on Facebook page. Abdul, hi Abdul, hi Aquano. I hope I pronounced your name right. Magno, okay. So this one I can pronounce. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take this thumbnail off and show it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of I Chongqing's channel. This is Echo Chain. 2022 marks the 15th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relation between China and Mexico. And Mexico is Chongqing's largest trading partner in Latin America. The friendship between two cities, I'm sorry, I have to mute. I have to mute you guys. And there's some. Okay, the friendship between two cities has been deepened every single day now. In February 14, Chongqing lightened up the skyscrapers with the main colors of the Mexican flag combined with the patterns featuring traditional Mexican national elements to celebrate anniversary. We have pictures. Look at this. In this, it's a celebration in Chongqing of this anniversary. And in addition, there also has been a Mexican photography exhibition held in one of the Chongqing's museums to introduce the culture and history of this beautiful country. This is the exhibition. And these are the photography works. Also in this year, the Mexican Chamber of Commerce in China set up its new office in Chongqing to further gather strength to integrate resources, promote economic and trade exchanges between the two sides, and improve the level of bilateral cooperation. We also have a picture on this. So at this very special moment this year, we will be connecting with Mexico through our friend, Mr. Su Wei, the headmaster of the Central Cultural Hanyu in Torreon City, who will be joining us at the Plaza Mayor, and Nick will be touring us around in the central area of Chongqing, presenting the classic route in Yuzhong District with historical sites introduction. We will be talking about the connectivity and interaction that have been deepened every day between Chongqing and Mexico, especially in the cultural exchange field. So stay tuned, like, share and subscribe to us to support us, okay? This is going to be a really interesting show. Um, maybe we can speak some Spanish, but I can, but Nick and Mr. Sue can. So I'm going to uh, uh, mute you guys and put you guys on the screen. Hi, Mr. Sue. First thing is that can you uh, briefly introduce yourself and your location to us? Yes, Hi, hello everyone. 
你好，大家好。Hola, todos. My name is Hola. 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 Hi. I'm hi hi hi. My name is Suman Wei. I live in Mexico and have been sixty years. Sixteen years. I now am living in Torreon City and Coahuila State. Yeah, I stayed. Uh, in Chihuahua for ten years. Chihuahua is another state of Mexico. Now I'm living in Torreon City. I moved to Torreon City in years 2016. So today we are going to uh, know the. Now we are arrived in the center of the city, Torreon City. Let's look at. Over there, the look at it, over there. Here is the main building of the government of city of Torreon. And over there, let's look at okay, this thanks. size over there mm -hmm. is the federal federal office of Torreon. Yeah. Now I'm in. I have oh, Chinese school, okay. and uh, I'm musician. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Su. And I can see you're now at this Plaza Mayor. And uh, I'm gonna ask Mr. Uh, Miss Mariso to um, just move a bit slower so that we can we can see you because the connectivity has been. Que uh, está moviendo been... muy rápido. Okay, Is let's look at the... the first. Yeah, let's look at Connectivity. around here. Yeah, there have children playing. Because now it's the seven in the night. Here is the Christmas tree. Oh. Christmas tree is so beautiful. Yeah. It's decorated yeah. with lights, yeah, Christmas, twinkling yeah. lights. Christmas tree. Let's let's get close closer. Still there. Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. What's the weather right? Okay, we we are we are are receiving a lot of the comments from our friends from our friends on facebook and on on like youtube and um, they are also greeting everywhere to us in spanish salutos ken is with us fabiana fabiana salutos okay everybody's saying hello i'm gonna put those comments on the screen and greetings 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 everywhere. Capillo, greetings. Angel, nice to see my friend, Nick. Okay, nice to see you. So Thank you. Right now, Mr. Sue is showing us around in this really uh, beautiful plaza in Torreon. And I want to know how, how, how are you, what are you going to show us and what are you going to you know, to, to where are you going to take us? Because I know it's a, uh, it's in the center of the city, right? And we can see the city hall. We can see some um, typical classic uh, landmarks there. And we also have a video about the school, the uh, Central uh, Cultural Hanyu. Uh, let's watch this yeah. video. It's Yes, now we are going to walk a little bit. The name calls Isauro Martinez. It's a mind theater because I'm a musician. I'm working the chamber orchestra. So every day we go to el Centro Cultural Hanyu Laguna promueve la vinculación entre China y México para realizar intercambios exitosos de carácter educativos, culturales y económicos, teniendo como misión ofrecer un excelente servicio para el desarrollo integral de la comunidad que forma la comarca lagunera. 
A través de programas que permiten a los usuarios aprender, desarrollar y ejecutar acciones educativas, culturales y comerciales para colaborar en la creación de vínculos estrechos, positivos y fraternales entre China y México. En colaboración con el Colegio ECAT, el Centro Cultural Han Yu se suma a los esfuerzos educativos ofreciendo clases de chino mandarín a los niños de manera gratuita a través del Taller de Iniciación a la Cultura China, Club Panditas. Para dicho fin, se contempla dentro del plan de estudios diversas competencias y actividades artísticas y culturales que integran y complementan la enseñanza del idioma chino-mandarín y que son parte del programa académico impartido en el Centro Cultural Han Yu Laguna. Que es este interactivo a, pues a sus alumnos que hace que el chino que te parezca difícil, te lo explica más detalladamente y más fácil. Nos divertimos al aprender, o sea, aprendemos para lo que eh, nos divertimos. Que es muy recomendable porque pueden viajar a muchos países sabiendo chino. Muchas cosas, este, así, lenguaje y este, alguno que otro tipo de cultura diferente al, pues, al nuestro. Gracias. Saya. Adiós. Palabras como ni hao, que significa hola, toufa, que significa cabello, yanjin, ojos, erzo, orejas, y etc. Es bonito aprender nueve, este, nuevos idiomas, culturas. Y está padre aprender otro idioma porque, o sea, nada más sabe inglés. Entonces, muchos. Piensan que es difícil el chino, pero está fácil. Tener la esperanza de alguna vez viajar a China por saber el idioma y otras cosas. China es un país este que, pues que de cualquier modo a otro, como todos, mueven al mundo y que no esté. y pues que ayudan a otros países de diferentes modos. ¿Cómo? ACAT的孩子们需要你们的帮助 是国家的未来，所以我们在这里，请您一起和我们支持ACAT的孩子们来支持他们，帮助他们学习汉语，将会有更好的前途，在他们的未来将会得得到更大的帮助，对他们的人生会有更好的启迪。谢谢。Hi. Hi. Hello, and welcome, uh, welcome back. And uh, Mr. Su, we can see you, but the signal is has always been a problem since we get started in your current location. So uh, I need you to log out and log in again, if that's uh, possible. Because um, from where we can see your uh, signals quite not, not so good. Is that okay to lock? Uh, uh, you can uh, 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 u
，现在要好一点。Okay, okay. While we are waiting for um Mr. Sue, we have more comments. But can anyone translate those Spanish language for us? Because I think they are saying some excellent things about our live stream or the school or learning Chinese. Because I can see something about the com China community, right? Hi, Kevin. Hi, Ken. In Fabiola, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. So, guys, please stay tuned with us. Mr. Stu is coming back with us right in the minute. And before we ask Mr. Stu to introduce this really fantastic school in Torreon, um, I want to know: Have you guys ever know? Uh, any Chinese school uh, teachers around you? Um, how how's their life in foreign countries? How's their you know career in foreign countries? And uh, okay, Chris, Chris is with us right now. Hi, Chris. And I love. Nanny, okay, everybody's right now. We can see there are many comments. Uh, we are now connecting from Chongqing to uh, Torreon City, Mexico. Okay, Mr. Sue is back. Hi, oh, now hi, it's better. Hi, hi, it's better. hi, Mr. Sue. Okay. Okay, All thank right. you, thank you. The signal is much better right now. So thank you guys for waiting for us. Also, Mr. Su, uh, you've been talking about that you have arrived in Mexico in 16 years ago, and you choose yeah. to stay there. So what made you to choose this city? Can you share with us? Uh, also, can you share some stories about how you established the school? Like, how did you hire teachers or how to train them, how to promote the school or get a funds or support locally. Yes. Yes, of course. When I arrived in Mexico, I have 23 years old. So when I just graduated, I came to Mexico because I work in one orchestra, classic music orchestra. I'm, I'm one violist. I play the viola. So I'm finding a job and they hire me. So I came to here and later they have the Confucian Institute in Chihuahua City. So later when I learn Spanish, they begin, uh, I begin to work with the university. So I begin to teach the Chinese in the 2010, year 2010. So Later, uh, the year of 2016, I moved to Torun City. So I opened my school. So my school now has six years, yeah, six year and a half history. So that's uh, later also, oh, okay. Uh, later I am working in the orchestra because the orchestra here working a half of the day. So all the afternoon I have time to teach the Chinese and Saturday I teach the Chinese and Friday the night I have concert. So I enjoy to teach the Chinese. I enjoy to play. Now I'm playing in the uh, one chamber orchestra in Torreon. So now the school, the Chinese school, we have around the 400 students, it's Mexican students and the, the other country of American, American. Uh, we have the other students from Peru, from Argentina, from Venezuela, from Ecuador. Uh, we begin the Chinese uh, 
school online school so we have the class online so we can receive all the students and also i have my school now have a corporation uh decrement with the confucian institute also with the embassy in china so the students now they can have the chinese hsk test also we offer the exchange program scholarship program for our students We keep receiving comments. We love Central Hanyu, Central, ah,、uh, cultural Hanyu. I think it's one of the students, probably, or George, Albert, Alberto. Maybe it's、uh, yeah. one of your teachers. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think so. Because、yeah. now we receive,、uh, we we have the teacher, Chinese teacher. Also, we、mm-hmm. have Mexican teacher. So they both teach of both country. They. Are teaching Chinese with us with our school, yeah. Ah,、uh, can you can I may I ask where did you find those guys find those people to hire them as teachers or how to train them? First,、uh, all the Mexican teacher it was my student <laughs> before, <laughs> so they、oh. when, when, yeah when they when they got the HSK four level they can begin to teach. So all the all my all the Mexican teacher, they were my student.、Mm-hmm. The first generation I was I begin to teach in 2010 in Confucian、mm-hmm. Institute of Chihuahua.、Uh-huh. So they teach also, like I told you before,、uh, we got the support and.、Uh, Uh, cooperation, the the agreement with in Confucian Institute, so they send us the Chinese teacher. Yeah, we actually have a picture.、Uh, I think it's the the first generation of your students、uh, that you are having this、uh, taking taking this picture with with them. We are presenting it on the screen.、Um, yeah, yeah. It was like it was like you are with those kids. So I think some of them are become become became teachers at your school, right? Your students. Yes, I think I, that's really pretty amazing. So how what what got them? How how to make them to love Chinese language? Are they just、uh, randomly or、uh, found you or、uh, wanted to start it with you, or are they just love the Chinese language by themselves? Yes, when we receive the children of、uh, elementary school, a cat, the this school we receive, we will begin to receive the children like fourth and fifth and sixth grade. So they love to learn Chinese, but before they think Chinese, oh, it's very difficult language. But when I begin to teach them, they are. I explain them that the 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 Chinese not not so difficult like you imagine. So we begin to work because you know the children is very easy to receive the new information. So we begin with the children like the fourth, five, fifth, and sixth grades of Aika. Now some of them begin to work and the certificates begin to work with our school like. The Chinese teacher, so、mm-hmm. we have the activity of all the year Chinese year. So we have the celebration of the、uh, the Chinese New Year. Each、mm-hmm. year we make the, a lot of activities. So the children when they play and they also they study. So that's the why can they they study very successfully.、Mm-hmm. So you are not just、um, teach them language. You are also holding those、uh, traditional Chinese activities, especially in some specific certain timing, like holidays, like Chinese holidays, 
like this one. I'm presenting a picture of the dragon dance, the lion dance on the street. Can you share a bit of story or background of this picture? I think it's quite fun to watch this. This picture we took in 2019. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Sorry, in 2018, the, the mm -hmm. Chinese New Year. I, I, I think it's 2000. 2019. So we in Doreon City, we have a uh, China community, one group, very, very big. So they are mm -hmm. third generation of, we have one uh, chamber and uh, organization of Chinese uh, group. So they are the first. So for example, I'm the first generation to, to stay in Mexico. They are the mm -hmm. third. They are the wow. fourth generation. So wow. we celebrate together with them. Wow. So it's generation by generation from time to yeah. time. Just um, Did you get a really close relationship with this Chinese community in your city? I want to know how's the situation there. Yeah, the Chinese community, uh, community, uh, the, the, this group was, uh, it was uh, created from 2016. So mm -hmm. we have the president of the community. Uh, we have uh, members. So we have the activity two, three times for year. So uh, we have meeting, we have dinner together. And uh, the president is say, Mr. Lee. And uh, he's one very successful uh, He has a business very successfully in Torreon. So we have, mm -hmm. he okay, have 92 Mr. years. He have 92 years. Um, okay, Mr. So I'm gonna, sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to log out again because the signal is getting in the way. The signal problem is getting in the way. So I can't hear you really smoothly and I can't cannot see you. Uh, smoothly. I think we've been having a connecting problem. So if you uh, would love to log out and log in again, that will be appreciated. Okay. Hay que salir otra vez entrar. Okay. While we are waiting for Mr. Sue, we can still um switching back to Nick's camera now. Hi Nick. Hello, hello everyone. No. Yeah, Hi, what? how are you hanging there? So I, I I heard it's raining. I hope you don't get a cold today because it's uh it's a special period of time. Don't get oh, a I know. cold. Okay. I, okay. I have so, um, I have the umbrella with me, so it's okay. Okay. I don't know if it's uh, about the it's because the weather or something. Uh, the signal is kind of not really smooth in our studio. But if you guys can see Nick really uh, smooth or uh, clear, please just share your comments with me so that I can see everything is okay. Because from my perspective, it's not that smooth. But I can also hear the audio. So can you just introduce your location and where you are and what are you going to show, show us today? So right now you can see the majestic building behind me. I'm actually at Yuzhong district of Chongqing. The building behind me is called the Great Hall of People or well known as the Chongqing People's Auditorium. You can see that building. It resembles Tian Tan in Beijing. And um, it's a place for political meetings as well as cultural events in Chongqing. And uh, I think the layout of this place is similar to the place where 
which is show which was showed by Mr. Su. So uh, in in his in his place, there there is a city hall, there is a federal hall, and the square. Similarly, here you can see the majestic hall behind me, and also in front of the hall is a square. It's provided for people's activities. So in the morning, normally there are many people here doing morning exercises. They will bring. Most of them are actually retired, so they will bring their grandchildren here to do morning exercise together. But it's a little raining today. Not many people are in the square, and it's getting cold in winter. So um, hopefully, if if the weather is good enough, I think you can see here crowded with people doing morning exercises, and you can see this building. Uh, the architectural, the archi this architecture is well furnished and you can see the classic beauty in it. Um, the, the yellow, oh no, not yellow, the green roof, the green, tilt, ro green tilted roof and the vermilion beams are typical and classical match in China's traditional buildings. And there is a and there is a, and you can see the f Chinese national flags here. I will switch the camera so you can see, see it more clearly. Wait a moment. Okay, I will switch the camera. So here, you can see the Chinese national flag here. Mm -hmm. um, during the major occasions in China, for example, on the National Day, that is October the 1st, or the Labor Day, the May 1st, there will be flag, flag rising ceremony here. You will see many people here to watch the flag rising ceremony. Normally, the ceremony begins very early in the morning. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Uh, now, I am in the center line of this building. You can see the square. There is a center line here. So, what if is, you see, what's this if, used for? If, the center if line. you see this, yeah, if you stand on the center line, you can see that this building is totally symmetric. Um, about this central line is related to the geographic features. It's believed that the central line is towards the sky. This position can bring good fortune. That's why the flag is here. That's why the ceremony, the flag rising ceremony is on this. That's why this flag is situated here and people can gather in a square to watch the flag rising ceremony. Mm -hmm. So uh, this square yeah. is literally called People's Square. Uh, although this building is for political meetings and cultural events, but the people, the residents leave, that are, the residents nearby, they can come to this square to relax or to spend their leisure time or so to hang out walking after lunch or dinner. I remember I, I even went here to skateboarding because this floor, are, it, the floor is so smooth. But um, at that day, I was lectured by the security because this place actually, skateboarding is not allowed. Can you guess why? Because, why? you know, uh, because the people who come here to spend their leisure time are mostly elder people and their kids. Oh, so wow. most of them have most of them have been retired. So uh, mm -hmm. for the sake of their safety, the square has the specification that uh, skateboarding is not allowed. I think it really makes sense. So after I know this requirement, I just took my board and leave and um, I hope that uh, 
more people will know about these requirements, so they won't um, skateboard here to cause the to cause the danger or threats for the safety of the elder people. And mm -hmm. uh, just across uh, uh, across the square, you can see there is a museum. This museum is called Sanxia, Three Gorgeous Museums. You know, Chongqing is a city alongside the Yangtze River. And Sanxia is actually, the Three Gorges, it's actually a very strategic and important uh, location along the Yangtze River too. And it has, a, it has a, many relations with the development of Chongqing, this mountainous city. So inside this museum, you can see the history and the culture of a riverside city and how the city is developed. Uh, yeah, we also did a live stream in that museum. If anybody is interested, please watch it on Ai Chongqing's channel, YouTube channel. Uh, we we did it like in two, 2020 in uh, uh -huh. it's about the new year of the year of cow mm -hmm. so uh, i'm gonna interrupt so, you from here because mr stew is back in our screen um i'm gonna ask him to you know keep talking with us so please wait for us a bit more okay nick hi mr okay Su. i will go to the next station <laughs> hi how are you hi so we can see you are back and uh, we can continue in introducing the school for us maybe. So I, I wanna know how many graduates this year in the school or- um, The graduates like, uh, let me think about like 200 students. 200. Graduates for this year, yeah. This year, that's impressive. That's impressive, and we can also uh, be looking forward to their future plan. Is there any future plan after the education that they wanted to work based on Chinese language or something related? Yes, uh, about the about the students, we have a lot of factory industry need the students or students to know and could speak Chinese. So that is, they, if they, if the students speak Chinese certificate, the HSK, they can have better job. They be hired with a higher salary. So that's why uh, each day more people are interested in uh, know this language and study this language and uh, that's the mm -hmm. questions your question because that is usefully an interesting language mm -hmm. so there are there are many I, I guess there are many many Chinese brands or Chinese enterprises or manufacturers in Torreon, right? So that these uh, these people can get hired because they learn Chinese language. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. Because when they when when they when the factory also also the Mexico they still uh, maintain uh, the lowest tax of all the country of American continent. So it means they are interested also for the Im investment. So like mm -hmm. you say before in the beginning, so you say, so especially the Chongqing company is coming uh, in these 2000, 22 years, oh. they come a lot of uh, investment from Chongqing city, especially. Oh, yeah. wow. That I didn't know. 
I think we can put some information uh, after the live stream about this news about Chongqing's yeah. enterprises, uh, Chongqing's founds or uh, uh, the uh, the these um, and entrepreneurs from Chongqing they came to this city to invest there to put their factories there. That's really um, amazing to know that. Thank you, Mr. Su. So we You're still welcome. have some pictures. So we can see you are standing be uh, beside the Christmas tree. We can see that yeah. the Christmas vibe there in your city is still going on. We have a picture that, that the school, because um, I know last week you are celebrate you were celebrating this Christmas. Is that the activity in your school? Looks really pretty fun. So how's this Christmas activity in your school? Tell us a bit more. Yes, that activity, activity a name called uh, Frog Pinata. So the inside have, a, have, have candies. So we make line oh. each, each people to break it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, is, a, is that a, the, is that a tradition, yeah, this, Mexican, Mexican tradition or, or something? Yeah, from that, a, yeah it's, it's original oh, from Mexico. Piñata, oh, they are. Oh. oh, yeah, it's really fun. And how about this? What are they doing? So we, this picture, we make one like game of knowledge of Chinese. So oh. we are make the knowledge of Chinese from Pin from the character. So, mm -hmm. so now let's, so that is the activity as a part of the activity of the celebration of Chinese New Year because we can learn and we have fun. Oh. And how about this one? I think this one is probably from the Mid Autumn Festival, right? Yes. No, is we that are a... doing. Uh, yeah, this piece is. Uh, we have the painting class, painting mm -hmm. Chinese traditional painting class. You know. Yeah. Wow. So you have, you also have um, this art le lectures in your school uh, to teach people, to teach students to draw in Chinese, like calligraphy, yeah. like Chinese painting, like things like that, right? So now we are going to look at how is the terrorage of Torreon today. Ah. We are going to, we are going to, you're, you're coming, coming one terrorage. Yeah, they are coming. Later, we will wow. get in. We will go to know the moment of crystal crisis. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. They are coming. Wow. They are okay. coming. They are okay. coming. Okay. So, you, so, it's so that is very Chinese class. Yeah. Oh. So it's very hot to vibe there in Torreon. Yeah. See yeah. the lighting, the decoration everywhere, and people are out there enjoying their lives. Okay, we keep co receiving comments. Uh, Valeria, Central Cultural Hang Yu is the best. Thank you. Think, wow. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I want to know, guys, from our comments, from our followers, do you want to hear uh, Mr. Sue and Nick to speak some Spanish? Because I can speak Spanish, but I sure know they are pretty good at it. And I know we have receiving some um, followers from Latin America or uh, Europe or people in Europe. They wanted to hear. They are great, sending their greetings uh, in Spanish. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, so, Mr. Tu, if you can introduce in Spanish, that would be very really appreciated for a little while. <laughs> claro que sí. Hola a todos. Buenas noches. Ya Ahora estamos subiendo de periférico 
periférico de Torreón. Entonces ahí tengo cuatro compañeros, compañeras, me acompañando en el periférico. Ahorita vamos a subir a, se llama el Cristo de las Noas. Sí. Vamos. Mm. Right. So, so this is like a, a street view in Torreon, right? Is that a central road on the street, on, on the city? Yes. Yes, they are the, 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 the terrace is they build in the center of the Torreon city. So that's why I chose to come here. Uh, we can walk from the uh, center, like two minutes, we arrive at the terrace. Wow. Wow. Later, we are going to look at the moment of the crystal, Jesus Cristo. Okay. Y, and uh, is they have one in Brazil. The second, second biggest is in Torreon City. Ah, oh, okay. So while, while we are waiting for your trip to arrive your destination i'm i'm gonna put nick on the screen because he already arrived at the at the zhongshan zhongshan silu i'm sorry zhongshan silu a very famous yeah. destination in yuzhong district okay um okay yeah. nick Can you... yeah i'm here okay where where are you in um uh, where is your location i think it's in the coffee shop at Zhongshan Siru, yeah, um, it's Zhongshan Fourth Avenue or Fourth Street. I'm just uh near the crossroad. I just enter, mm -hmm. just enter this avenue. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna let you. I'm gonna let, let you uh, guess what kind of place is it. When you see this sculpture, do you think what this story is used for? So when I first came here, when I saw this, when I saw this sculpture, I thought this store may be, this may be a small museum or something. But when I entered, it's actually a mini park, mini market. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that this street is well decorated and well furnished. So uh, it features features artistic and ambience here and if you are a literature lover or you like art you can come here to enjoy the artistic phenomena on this avenue but but uh this avenue actually has a very long history um so if you know the history of the world war Two or China's war of resistance of the Japanese against the Japanese aggression. You will know that Chongqing was actually a temporal national capital of China during that time. So there were a lot of celebrities and artists and writers who flocked to Chongqing. So um, they 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 have left a legacy of artistic buildings and um, places here. On these streets, there are many formal residents, formal residencies of those celebrities. And now it's transformed into a commercial street, which provides numerous attractions for tourists. So if you can you can come here to spend your leisure time or have a cup of coffee and go to some bookstores and you will see a lot of stores decorated with the retro style. So when you walk on this street, you have the feeling that you you seem to go back you seem to go back to the 1950s because of the style of the architecture. And this street is well known as the most beautiful street in Chongqing. So the Spring Festival is approaching. Several days in several days, they will transform into uh, into a street 
uh, for the Latin for Spring Festival. So at that time when we hang out on the street, you will have a different feeling. Okay, I think um, <clears throat> I think I want to know. There's a uh, question I want to ask you. Is this your one of your favorite area? You've been living in Yuzhong District for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been living yeah, uh, in Yuzhong District for a while. What do you like the most about this area? Um, I think this district, this district or this area is perfect. If you come to Chongqing and you want to enjoy the local life, because the Zhong District is actually the center of Chongqing, so you can find a lot of authentic restaurants in this area. So those restaurants may not wear furn furnished, but they sell the most, the most authentic local food, and the price is very friendly, and and you can and people. Here they speak the Chongqing dialect, so it's a very great opportunity for me to learn and practice my Chongqing dialect. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 I rent a house in this area, and I can see that I'm surrounded by scenic areas. I'm surrounded by scenic attractions and tourist place. You know, it took me only three stations away from the Rafa city. Only two stations away from the uh, Hongya Cave, so uh, this place is the most vibrant and bustling area that I have seen in Chongqing. Mm -hmm. And you can, you have many choices to spend your free time. You can go to the cinema cinema nearby or watch a play in the theater, and you can also like hang out in this kind of street. So I the reason I the reason why I love these streets is that I there are two bookstores here, two independent bookstores. They sell interesting books. Um, and uh, so after work, sometimes I will go to the bookstore and enjoy like one to two hours there to calm myself down and uh, enter into a different enter into a different state status that I can think a lot of things that has nothing to do with work. And, uh, you know, uh, you can meet a lot of hipsters here. They are very fashion. They're very fashionable mm -hmm. and they're very young. And you can, you can join a lot of activities at, that was put by the stores. Whether it's about book sharing or it's about um, like artistic exhibitions here. So uh, if you are a person who is into artistic arts or you want to stay for a day in a quiet place, but also in the center of the city, this street is perfect for you. Cool. I think it's more of a, like like you just share, it's more of a, a humanistic atmosphere on this uh, area, literally an artistic area, uh, atmosphere in this area. And uh, I think the next thing is that I want you to speak a little bit Spanish to our audience. Is that okay? Yeah, actually I learned Spanish like when I was in university for a year, so I, so now, but I, but now I can remember only very little of them. So I will like introduce myself in Spanish. Okay. Hola, hola a todos. Me llamo Nick. Hablo un poco de español. Um, estudié español en estudié español cuando estaba en in la universidad um, como curso como curso opcional por una por uno año um, me gusta mucho viajar espero que algún día pueda viajar a México gracias <laughs>
Yes, yes. It's really beautiful from your mouth. It's really beautiful. I think you did it really well. So, if you have a choice to visit Mexico, since we are connected with Mexico, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Um. Uh, uh, if you uh, I know a city called Merida. Merida、mm -hmm. is a city in Mexico, and、uh, when I first. Heard of this name? It sounds it sounds so beautiful, Merida. So I searched for the meaning behind Merida. It turns out it's a Latin word meaning a girl who has achieved a high place of honor. So I have more. I, I'm I'm more interested in this place than I googled Merida. It turns out that、uh, the Maya civilization starts there and. Started、oh. there, and you can find you can find the relics and the ancient sites of Maya city in Merida. So、oh. Maya civilization has always been a mystery for the whole world, and I'm a person who are very into mysteries. So I hope one day I can visit there and to see what the Maya city is like. And also, I learned that.、Uh, The food in Merida is very spicy, <laughs> so、uh, in this aspect, it's very similar to Chongqing. But the spicy, the flavor, the flavor of spicy is a little different in Merida from Chongqing. So、um, mm -hmm. there are many exotic spicy food in Merida. I hope I one day I can go there and enjoy the amazing food there. So Merida is already in my bucket list. I hope that when when I have free time and enough and enough savings, I will travel there. Also, practice my Spanish there. Maybe for a month or two, that will be perfect. Yeah, I think you already did it really well. Cause our、uh, not just me, our comments, the followers are commenting. That they were all impressed by your Spanish speaking, Nick. Your、oh, the the Spanish accent is so amazing. He sounds so beautiful. Speak Spanish. Get that? <laughs> yeah, really, really yeah. amazed by your Spanish. Not just me. Okay, USA is not what it used to be. Okay, guys, we are talking about Mexico and Chongqing, and there's only. Really deep in connection between those two cities, those two countries, that has been interesting、uh, for us right now. So Nick has been showing us on the central area of Yuzhong District, and right now you are watching Ai Chongqing's live stream from Chongqing to、uh, Mexico to Torreon, a, a really fascinating city that Mr. Su is showing us right now. We are waiting for. Mr. Su to come back with us, and、uh, they arrived the Christ, and they will be joining us again. And just wait a little bit more. Okay, we can see those architectures and buildings are so beautiful. They are probably rebuilt on the original ancient sites and the reliefs, and we can see、yeah. those plants are really amazing looking there. Yeah. They are actually the formal residence of the celebrities during the you know during the nineteen fifties, and now、wow. they are transformed and retrofitted into different stores. It sells like the gifts, the souvenirs, and here is a restaurant which sells the、uh, Chongqing food or any food you may want to taste here. Um, they also sell like like um. Sell something about music, and it's actually a cafe. It's a、oh. very rich. It's a it's a store of a. It's a very retro style store,、mm -hmm. and it has many decorations such as this beautiful vintage camera. Wow! Really amazing. It's a pretty cool boutique. Stored as selling books and cafe and maybe some records. And we,、yeah. while we are waiting for Mister Su to come back, we are also appreciating this beautiful corner coffee shop. 
on on Zhongshan Fourth Street. I think it probably it's be it's gonna be the English name. Is that correct? Zhongshan, uh, Fourth Street. Street. Four, four road. Okay, and everybody is be accomplishment sending their accomplishment about Nick Spanish. Yeah, that's correct. Gracias. And Mr. Sue is still con connecting with us. Can you guys see him on the screen? Because from my screen, I can't see him. This is a beautiful mascot. <laughs> yeah. It's actually so, like a uh, line. Yeah, it's like a line, but it doesn't look like in some angles. <laughs> It's a funny one. Maybe it's laughing, and it sits just in front of this in front of the gate of this building. It has three stories. The first story is a bookstore, and that's the bookstore I mentioned before. And I often go, I often go to this bookstore. I really like mm -hmm. the decorations and the style yeah. and design style here. It's, and also, it seems that you can. I mean, uh-huh yeah uh -huh. i'm sorry i, I, uh, uh, I uh -huh. saw you because i can saw you stepping down uh the heels and uh, i think it's really typical in chongqing to you know climb back yeah. kind of up and down uh this really specific unique geog geographical condition yeah a lot okay. of stairs here because because mm -hmm. i am in a mountain city and this area is covered with many mountains and this this building is actually uh, in a slope on the slope of, on the slope, so that you must have stairs. It's very convenient for you to climb up and down. And uh, I like the geographic features of Chongqing. It gives you many different experience from the cities, which is actually a plain like Beijing or Tianjin. Yeah. So. Um, so Nick, please keep showing us, and we will get back to you because Mr. Su is right now arrived at the uh, the Jesus statue, the really famous one in Torreon, right? Hello, Mr. Su. Can you guys he can you guys see that this really beautiful statue there? Um, okay. Okay, it's okay. Um, we can still get back to Nick while we're waiting for Mr. Sue because this bookstore, is that a bookstore? Yeah, it's the bookstore I mentioned before. It's an independent mm -hmm. bookstore. And you can yeah. find many kinds of books here and many kinds of like cultural products here. Um, mm. It's very cozy and it seats, actually it, just, it seats at the end of the street. When I, every time I come here, I feel like, I feel like, like I, feel, I feel like that I am escaping from the city hustle and bustles, although it's in the center of the city, but you feel like you are in a deep, deep mountain because, because there is towering trees here and many plants and trees. And people here are not so crowded and it's not so crowded here. Mm -hmm. um, when you enter the bookstore, you just choose something that you want to read. Um, it has a special corner for Chongqing books. I mean, the books are all related to, or or, 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 or about Chongqing. So as, mm -hmm. so me, so I, I as a traveler. So when I come to this store, I will go to this corner, and to to know, to learn about the history, the culture, and the literature of the, of Chongqing, of this mountain of the city. So I have to, I have to speak quietly. There are some readers here. They are okay. 
enjoying their leisure time. I don't want to interrupt them. And there is a very interesting space here. So if wow. you want to like organize the, you know, a uh, book sharing activity with your friends or your colleagues or uh, with the people who share the common interest, you can come here and order some cups, some cups of coffee. I can sit there and you can talk, chat, and socialize. So I really like wow. this place. It's like secret place in this street because wow. it's you have to go down the stairs and then you, you will enter this bookstore. If you walk just on on the streets on the surface, you can't find this bookstore. You have to enter a gate and go down. Wow, you know what? I've been working at this street for um, almost two years and I never know there is a place like this. And based on the window glasses on, of that building, I think it was rebuilt as, a, as an old church kind of, kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe. I, I, <laughs> I don't know whether, I don't know what it used for before, but now... They they have been bought by a by a by a boss and uh, he owned like three buildings, so he transformed one into a restaurant and one into a bookstore and one for selling the souvenirs. So you can see the style here is very, uh, is very, you know, similar because it's all designed by one designer. Oh. You can see the hum. You can see the harmony of this place. Yeah, and they have all, there are lots of also multiple kinds of designings on the street. Okay. Yeah. In that, but you must uh, be the, you must watch out the stairs because mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of stairs stairs around you. So mm -hmm. uh, when you walk, you should be careful. You can see when I like uh, exit from the. From the door, there will be stairs leading you to the surface of the city. So now wow. I'm on the streets again. Wow. I love how this area would, you know, present a so complicated and but so rich um, structure um, of this, you know, of this community to present you this um, mixed kind of style with ancient relics in the ancient buildings, but also with some modern designing in some literature in RT, RT, artificial style in it. Mm -hmm. And we have received the pictures from Mr. Su right now because the signal on his area right now is really not so good. So he cannot connect him with us again. But uh, um, I guess we have to, we can say hello, say goodbye with Mr. Sue. Goodbye, and like also we have a picture. Oh, oh is that an entrance of a subway? Yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty. Hello. Yeah, it, it's the entrance of, of a subway station. It's, it's real, this, this building, I mean, this entrance is really artistic. <laughs> Yeah. When I first came here, I didn't know it's an entrance to a subway station. So when I entered, I found that it 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 is transformed from a from an air share air raid shelter. Oh. So inside, when you go downstairs, it was a air air share air raid shelter during the war time, and now it's transformed into the entrance and the passage to the subway station so when you hang out in Chongqing you can always find the stories behind that place or the building yeah wow. I think we can also see the riverside from, the, from your side um, before you do that I will go back to uh, Mr. Su because the signal problem kind of slow, right so Hello again. Hi, Mr. Su, can you hear us? Yeah, hi, how are you? 
Hi, we are waiting for you because we know you'll be coming back to us, and we can see these are the pictures. Yes, of course, we will come. Yeah, it's really a nice. Wow, this is quite amazing. Yeah. No escucha. I think echo is okay. Echo is back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just put myself off the screen so that we can take some pictures and see the both side of the city. And this is what we can see from Mr. Seuss angle. He arrives at this very famous uh, Jesus statue in this area. And he's now, we are now uh, waiting for him to come back. Uh, and I hear children having fun. Yeah, very artistic subway station entrance. Yes, um, uh, Kevin just mentioned Hong Kong MTR solution station. I'm sorry, station. Okay, Mr. Stu is coming back with us. And Nick is showing up. Hi. Hello, Mr. Sue. Hello. Hi. So, Hi. Yeah, we have one last question for you. Since you've been showing us the very stunning statue of Jesus and we are all really amazed by the beautiful view. I think you are arrived at the mountain top of uh, of this city, right? We can see the. Yeah. We can also see your background is really beautiful, the lighting in the city. And, yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, so I want to know the one last question: What drives you to promote the Chinese culture in this city, this in Mexico? What do you think is most valuable part in your career? Because we both know you are also a musician, a very professional, and you play beautiful uh, violins. And uh, we know you have double character. We have more artistic character in your career. But what's your most valuable part in this education and culture promoting uh, career? Yes, I think about this. Uh... I think it's an uh, interchange of culture between China and Mexico. So the Chinese and Mexico, we know, we need to know between uh, each other more because uh, from first is from the language. So uh, also uh, the Chinese language and uh, Spanish. So it's the first things because uh, in Mexico, uh, Still, still need to know the Chinese culture as now a lot of people want to know, really want to know the Chinese culture. So the uh, Mexic uh, Mexican and the Chinese also is interested in, in know the uh, Mexican culture, uh, no one Catholic country, right? So they have very interesting culture. Uh, that is my answer. So I, you hear me? Yeah, you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you really smoothly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Su. Thank you for yeah. your touring with us today and your uh, introduction of the city, of your school, of this cultural promoting career. We uh, really appreciate that. We can see this really amazing view from the top of the mountain, the statue in the city, the lighting around us are really beautiful. You know, 
Um, I have to say something about this relationship between Chongqing and Mexico. You know, Chongqing officially established a sister city relationship with the Mexico state of uh, Nuevo Leon. I think I pronounced, I, I hope I pronounced it right, in November 2013. In November 2021, Fengdu County of Chongqing also established a sister city relationship with Guanajuato the capital of the Mexican state of Guanajuato. In 2021, the import and export between Chongqing and Mexico reached about $2 billion U.S. dollars, an increase of 6.1%. 6 1.7 billion U.S. dollars exported. The export reached 1.7 U.S. dollars. Commodities include electronic products, metal products, motorcycles, engines, auto parts, and etc. And the main imported goods are mineral products, auto parts, and so on. On October 27, 2021, Chan Automobile, a famous Chongqing vehicle, held a brand launch event in Mexico City and established the first independent showroom for Chang'an Monterio, one of their products, vehicle products in, in Mexico. It's really an impressive achievement for those uh, domestic brands for Chongqing. Um, as of the end of August two, 2021, Mexico has established a total of three foreign vested enterprises in Chongqing with constructed foreign capital of 2.08 billion US dollars and actually utilized foreign capital of 1.62 Dollars. In August 2020, Chongqing Southwest University got in touch with the National University of Mexico, planning to carry out cooperation in running schools, teach students exchanges, agriculture and technological innovation, and country research. The, this information that I just share is to is for you for you guys to understand the relationship, the story between Chongqing and Mexico rise really well, and we hope this friendship will last as long as possible. Thank you, Mr. Sue, for joining us today, and also thanks to Nick for show us the really awesome street view in Yuzhong District of Chongqing. Uh, I really enjoyed this uh, trip from you guys from both sides. And I will be seeing you next live stream on the topics of the New Year resolution. There will be two Alex there, the Alex from our platform and also Alex Absolute, our friend on YouTube, and our friend Fernando connecting with James and me. Stay tuned with us and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next time. And also really grateful for Mr. Sue and Nick. Goodbye, guys. See ya. Adios. See you. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye. Bye.